video blog number two. It's your favorite running back, Ray Rice. Sorry for the delay. It took so long. Was you know I've been a little busy, but never forget about getting back to the fans. Y'all always great. So um, we took a couple questions. Couldn't take them all, but um, we definitely got a few that I wanted to answer. So I mean my. My cousin that's recording right now is going to read them out to me and I'm going to give you the best answer I can. And I'll pardon the bad hair day. I'm wearing a hat today, but I am proud with the O's hat on. You know, I'm in Baltimore, so you got to excuse me, but here they go. All right, so first question is, uh, what do you think of the Ravens draft this year? Uh, first question was, what do I think of the Ravens draft? I've been with a lot of the rookies now. You know, I think that um, a lot of the rookies are going to have a hard time uh, tackling me in camp because I'm going to shake everyone that plays defense. But to the offensive guys, you know, you're more than welcome to help me get to the end zone. <laughs> but all in all, our guys are great guys. You know, everybody that we picked up, you know, is, I'm happy to have them as, uh, as teammates. Okay. Uh, well, let, let's see. What are some of the goals that you set for yourself for the third season? Uh, this year, I'm trying to be the best running back in the NFL. <laughs> uh, I didn't set my goals yet, to be honest with you. Um, but as I leave for towards getting towards training camp, you know, I'm going to start narrowing down my goals and then uh, going after them. Okay. Um, what's the toughest run defense that you faced in the NFL? Um, I face, I think every defense is tough that we play because uh, but Pittsburgh and I would have to say uh, the Indianapolis Colts were, were the toughest I've faced so far. Okay. Um, a couple of the fans want to know what kind of car do you drive? Uh, I treated myself a little bit this year. I had a 2008 Range Rover when I first got into the NFL. That was my treat to myself. And uh, after the year was over, um, I came back home, decided about it, and I got a 2010 Range Rover now. Um, but I just traded my 2008 to, um, to a 2010, so wasn't really much involved with it. Just a little trade up, you know, a little treat to myself. Okay. All right. Um, if there was one thing you could improve in your game um, or prepare to, to improve, um, what would you do to improve your game for 2010? Uh, there's one thing I want to do this year. I want to um, be a better pass protector. You know, um, I think running the ball, I'm, I'm good. You know, obviously I want to hold on to the ball a little tighter. Them guys ripping at the ball, you know, it does hurt. But I want to be the most complete running back that there is in the NFL. You know, I don't want them to find a flaw in my game and attack it. I want them to say, this guy has no flaws. You know, we can't stop him. The only thing we can do is contain him. All right. Um, did you ever play defense? I did play defense in high school. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find my high school highlight tape. I'm going to put that up on the video for y'all so y'all can see that not only was I was a de not only was I a defensive player, I was a defensive problem. Anybody who came across the middle, they remembered that little number five that was out there, the number five. Okay. Um, what was the greatest prank that you pulled? Oh, man. You know, I've been pranking. This is the question I bet y'all have been waiting for. The guy that's getting videotaped right now, which I'm going to take the camera from when it's over, you know, um, I have this hot sauce that I'm going to show you guys one day. It's called the bomb. And uh, my cousin Brian, you know, he does good for me. And one day he asked me to go to an appearance, and um, I didn't know where it was at. He, he texted me the directions. It was late. And the appearance was 40 minutes away. I'm like, man, I had another engagement. Boom, we got to the appearance. They had this hot sauce called the bomb. I took the hot sauce. And all it takes is a drop. And your mouth is on fire. It has caution signs on it. We got home. He was at work. We decided to cook for him. He came in with McDonald's. No disrespect to McDonald's, but it's not typically healthy for my kind of diet. I've eaten McDonald's my whole life. But he came from McDonald's and we wanted to give him a home cooked meal. We cooked him a turkey burger with just a tad bit of hot sauce in there. Oh man. <laughs> Y'all know the rest from there. Alright. He uh, eats the hot sauce. I'm not done. He eats the, he eats the hot sauce burger. 
took three bites of it. He starts gargling ice in the toilet. He wouldn't talk to me the rest of the night. <laughs> um, comes downstairs, I'm playing a video game now. He goes to sleep next to me because the hot sauce made him tired from drinking all the water. All the, and then I pour powder right on his head, right next to me. He didn't learn already. You go right to sleep after I poured hot sauce in your burger. Get it together, B. All right. Well, just so you know, uh, and this is to all the fans, I'm going to get him back. And hopefully I'll have some videotape that I can share with you guys. All right. Um, Get you that one. <laughs> what do you think about Rutgers going to the Big Ten? I think it's a good go. I think it's about time we get our national recognition. You know, um, we, are we are known, Rutgers known nationally, but, you know, getting to the Big Ten and winning in the Big Ten, you know, will take that school from being where it's at to a whole nother level. Right, cool. Uh, what charities do you like to be involved with? I like to be involved in every different kind of charity, to be honest with you. Um, whether it's helping kids, cancer, you know, um, anything that's helpful. I want to be involved in helpful situations, you know. So if you see my face out there rolling around the community, uh, I'm trying to do something right. Uh, how does it feel to get tackled by the Ravens defense and especially Ray Lewis? Ray Lewis is actually, um, I, he's the hardest tackle I've been a part of. Uh, since I've been in the NFL, he tackled me the hardest. You know, um, but you figure if I get tackled by my defense, I make plays against our defense. Don't let it fool you. I'm out there making them guys better. You know, if they if they can get me now, it's like, you know, they can get any other back. You know, but me getting tackled by them, you know, no disrespect to no other team, but you know, I'm going against a great group of guys, and I like to make people miss. <laughs> hey, diddle diddle. They rise up the middle. All right. uh, how often does your mom come to the games? My mom tends to come, try to come to every home game. And when it gets too cold, sometimes I tell her to stay home because I don't want her to freeze out there. You know, maybe when I get my next contract, I'm gonna buy a little, I'm gonna buy a suite, and then uh, she can get to every game, eat, and do whatever she wants. You know, but I, my time will come. Yeah, I never speak about contract stuff, so. But Moms is always there for me. Moms is the best. Love that lady. Love you, Janet. All right. Uh, she your... don't like you. <laughs> she likes the fans. She doesn't like B. I still love her, though. Uh, what's your favorite movie of all time? I got, I'm, I'm, I'm a movie guy. You know, right now, I've been watching Transformers. I, I don't know. I got a lot of movies, but I'm a I'm a recent kind of guy. I've been watching Avatar, Transformers, you know. I haven't been to the movies a lot lately, but I got to get back out. All right, uh, what's your favorite place to eat? And a lot of the fans hear that you frequent Panera Bread. Uh, yeah, I always go to Panera Bread. You catch me at Ruth Chris, Bonefish, at Outback. Those are my four places where you, you can catch me on a regular. All right, and do you cook? No, Brian cooks. <laughs> he cooks one meal, spaghetti, <laughs> and it's very good. And let's see. And what do you attribute your success in the NFL to? Outworking people. There's only one way to get better. You know, I got a saying. You know, you can't run from being great. You got to go after it. And if you ain't working, the next man is. So on that note, right here. I know somebody ain't doing these push-ups right now. One, two, three. That's three push-ups before I go to bed. So that's three more push-ups that I did more than the other running, other running backs. And it's my goal to have the camera pass it. I want y'all to give a special thanks to Beanhead B. He has his hat on right now, but he has a bald head. And, um... Special man, literally. All right, we're going to do part three soon. Part, All right, everybody. Part three soon. Look at his hat. <laughs> All right.